Hello student, welcome back. We are going to start our session. Today's session is Digital Image Processing, Module 5, Lecture 6, EC 703A, Shongita Rai, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, Narula Institute of Technology. Today's content is Security in Digital Image Processing. We have started in the previous day. It is the second lecture of this series. And under this, today we are going to start watermarking, image encryption in spatial and frequency domain steganography. So, whenever we are transmitting any information from transmitter to receiver, there are a lot of intruders and another type of happenings may be there that is not wanted. Therefore, unwanted, some information may include in the form of noise or in the form of any other sporous event that may be unavoidable circumstances or maybe some hackers are there. So this is a major concern for today's transmission and receiving over a network and so network issues are there, network security is not sufficient as cyber crime is increasing therefore there should be some method to remove, we cannot completely remove this but we will try to remove as far as possible. So we have completed earlier day and today we will start our session with one of the method, the important method that is digital image watermarking. The methods and standards make the distribution of images whether in photographs or videos on digital media and over the internet practical. Unfortunately, the images so distributed can be copied repeatedly and without error, putting the rights of their own at risk. Even when encrypted for distribution, images are unprotected after decryption. One way to discourage illegal duplication is to insert one or more items of information collectively called a watermark into potentially vulnerable images in such a way that the watermarks are inseparable from the images themselves. An integral part of the watermarking images, they protect the rights of their owners in a variety of ways including copyright identification, user identification or fingerprints. The identity of the legal user can be encoded in watermarks and used to identify resources of illegal copies. Authenticity determination. The presence of a watermark can guarantee that an image has not been altered assuming the watermark is designed to be destroyed by, by any modification of the image. Next, automated monitoring. Watermarks can be monitored by systems that track when and where images are used. Copy protection. Watermarks can specify rules of image usage and copying like DVD players. We provide a brief overview of a digital watermarking. The process of inserting data into an image in such a way that it can be used to make an assertion about the image. The methods described have little in common with the compression technique presented in the previous section and the lectures although they do involve the coding of information. In fact, watermarking and compression are in some ways plays opposite. While the objective in compression is to reduce the amount of data, where the goal in watermarking is to add information and thus the data is protected by this. The watermark themselves can be either visible or non-visible. But one way, one thing is common between compression and watermarking because they sometimes use the same techniques. Now visible watermarking. Now this is a picture of Lena and this is a water, this is a logo or we want to insert this as a marking here. Now, after uh, this is the watermarking image, so after the LENA image with watermarking, this is the output. So how we, we are doing this? A visible watermark is an opaque or semi-transparent sub-image or image that is placed on top of another image that is to the image being watermarked so that it is obvious to be, uh, it is obvious that viewer can view this. Television networks often place visible watermarks in the upper or lower right hand corner of the television screen. As the following example illustrate this, now F is the original image, Omega is the watermark image and Alpha is the amount of 
watermarking will be visible or invisible means by this coefficient. So after watermarking the image is will be fw that is to 1 minus alpha f plus alpha w and this will be clear we will do on Hanson session in the MATLAB we will do that there. In case of invisible watermarking these are the formulas that will be used. So this is the invisible watermarking this is the original image and this is the watermark. So after combining this, this is the final image, but these two images looking the same. So how it is possible? This is invisible watermarking, but if we want to extract this, this is the extracted watermarking. And one of the examples is very common example is bit plane slicing. At the time of bit plane sizing, we have done MATLAB session also, also in theory that 8-bit uh, coding is there in the 256 scale 8-bit coding is there so when we are doing 8-bit coding each plane is considered as uh, within 8-bit each plane is considered each bit of this coding so the LSB contains uh, already we have showed that LSB contains less information whereas MSB contains more information so in the LSB if we can alter any uh, any bit over there and this alteration is in the form of uh, watermarking then final image will not be uh, changed much but some watermarking will be there or maybe some Im important information may be combined there in this way by using bit plane sizing we can use watermarking also there are a lot of weblet or dct applications of uh, invisible watermarking of uh, there Invisible watermarking or visible watermarking can be done with wavelet and DCT both. So this is a model how the watermarking plays. This is the original image. This is a watermark by mark insertion final. This is the marked or watermarked image. Now this is the reverse pro process or decoding process. So the mark extraction there will be another image. This will be used as mark extraction method. So after combining this, this extractor will be decoded and finally the watermark will be uh, changed and final the undetected uh, with without watermark image will be formed. So this is a, another image, two images of two versions of there and after differentiation these are the two output images. These are the different algorithms we are not going to detail. So this is another image, this is a gamma is the another coefficient that controls the amount of this lossy compression by using different gamma value the amount of decoding amount of this watermarking can be changed. So we will do some MATLAB session so that we can understand this. So we will go to the MATLAB. So this is a program. So this is the original image and this is the masked image and after combining this, this is visible watermarking by this the for formula how it will be combined. So this is the final combined image, it will be shown over there. So this will be, so here alpha we have taken 0.5. So the image output is looking like this. This is the original image and this is the water, after watermarking this is the image and this is the watermark. Now Controlling the value of alpha, the output can be changed. So if I, I will change 0.5 to 0.2. How the image will be changed? It will be shown clearly over there. Yes. Now see, image is more visible and watermark is suppressed over there. So this is a, I can also make this alpha as 0.9. How it is changing see so now image is totally invisible watermark is there 
so by controlling this the visibility of the watermark or the image visibility main image visibility can be changed so it is known as uh, visible image watermarking now in case of invisible watermarking we will also study this Yes, this is the inbuilt program of MATLAB, hard transform for image watermarking, invisible watermarking. See, this is a mandrill.jpg, it is the inbuilt image of MATLAB. So it is the main image, original image. And after three level hard approximation, this is the image. And this is a image that will be inserted inside image and output will not be visible this image so it is the watermark watermarking image and it is the original image and after combining this this is the watermark image so this image contains this image watermarking image but it is invisible by using hard transform and after reverse process this is a recovered image. So we can embed any information in an image without visibility. This is the invisible watermarking. So this is all for today and this is the references and thank you we are ending the session.